Old Joe Apps used to come round with a, with a banjo. Yeah. And you'd carry around this, carry around a little <coughs> two foot square dancing board, put yeah. the board down, and he'd do a little, uh, do a little step dance. And the little tune that he used to, he used to step dance too. <laughs> There we are, some images and sounds there of Cornish step dancing or scoot dancing as it is called in dialect. The name scoot is derived from the metal pieces attached to the soles of working boots and shoes to prolong their working life. They made a satisfying clack sound and could be used to accompany music. Although origins are much older, we see from press coverage just how popular step dancing was in the 1800s in Cornwall. Whit Monday, 1808. On a stage erected at Elegan, six persons dance for a prize to the no little amusement of 2,900 spectators. Padstow Athletics, 1883. Patrick Keith gained first prize in the step dance, Abel French second, and J.B. Thomas third. Midsummer celebrations in Falmouth, 1899. In the evening, the streets were crowded with special attraction being a competitive step dance. The step dance was not appreciated by the early folk dance collectors who felt it was far too influenced by the music hall. As a result, in Cornwall, the tradition continued as a party piece and entertainment quite separate from the organised folk dance festival and revival. This was especially so in the moorland villages of North Cornwall. And in the late 20th century, there were still people who could recall and in some cases teach these dances to a growing number of Cornish dance enthusiasts. Now, scoot dancing has featured strongly in the 40-year history of Lowen de Perrin. And here, we're going to delve into some of the video archive to look at how different groups have choreographed scoot dances for a stage performance.
Tractor. 